My name is Manuel Elkin Patarroyo, and, and I am the director founder of the Fundación Instituto de Inmunología de Colombia, an institution that it is involved in the development of a logical and rational methodology for vaccine development, in plural, meaning in other words that with this methodology we want to tackle and solve infectious diseases problems for humankind. That it is the goal of our institute. Okay. So what is the importance of senior scientists mentoring the patients and scientists? This is a situation in which both benefit from it. The senior scientists benefit from the enthusiasm and the questions that the people usually ask and the new ideas that the young fellows bring. By the same token, the, all the young scientists benefit from the experience and also the connections and the possibilities that the old scientists or senior scientists give to them. It is uh, both ways situation and it is a situation in which both benefit from it. Okay, so what is the importance of discussing the research results at conferences before getting them published? It is extremely important because rather than being analyzed by let's say the editor of the journal and also analyzed by the critics or let's put it there, the evaluators. In essence, when you present the data, you are going to be analyzed by hundreds, as it happens in the scientific meetings organized by United Scientific Group, where uh, we have around 200 people, and they are always asking and questioning and trying to understand and trying to expose their ideas, contrast them with yours, and you will get a lot of benefit from this interaction. It is wonderful and it is fantastic and I like very much to do it. Okay. Um, what are the initial hurdles in the career and how to overcome them to establish connections with senior scientists? Well, usually the young fellows come with a very, very, very fantastic enthusiasm, bright and new ideas, which it is very good and very profitable for the senior scientists. But they have to demonstrate how capable they are, how disciplined they are, which are their goals and purposes in life. And obviously, they, they have to demonstrate that. They have to show that. And that is, is very productive. Okay. Last question is, what role should government and industry play in making academic research more important? Well, it happens that sometimes governments are much more interested in some other issues and obviously the budget it is reduced for some very relevant topics and in that sense not only private foundations but also industry can help in the financing and supporting this research but the academy is the one that gives in essence the background for the development or the different ideas. So this interaction, this interplay, is fantastic for the development of any idea. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, my pleasure. And thanks a lot, mainly to the people from the United Scientists Group, for having given us the possibility to develop this fantastic meeting in Cartagena, Colombia, as a commemoration of meetings that we organized with former President Belisario Betancourt that meant a lot for the scientific development of Colombia, mainly in the biomedical areas. Not only our gratitude to them, but also to the co-sponsors, to the organizers, like for example, Universidad del Rosario, Universidad de Ciencias Aplicadas, LIMOR, Laboratories LIMOR, and Conciencias. To all of them, but particularly to the United Scientific Group, our perennial gratitude. Thank you very much. Thank you.